Nacho, what's up, dude? ¿Cómo estás? Bienvenido a Lab Workshop. Nuestros amigos latinos. It's a dried flower pod. Dude, that shit looks like an egg. I know that all the flowers like unwrap and everything, but dude, the first time I saw it, and I like I never even saw the thing before, I was like, what? What just happened? Who changed my daughter? Hello from Peru. Hola, hola, hola. Sí, hablo en español totalmente. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. All right, let's cut up this guy. Let's put the wheel back on so we can see where the hell this thing goes. So we don't put unnecessary holes everywhere. What is that dog doing? Okay, so it just kind of gets cut up here, so we don't really have to worry about it underneath there all that much. So let's see, maybe we just kind of start Cutting this guy up. Uh, maybe not as much as the other guy either. A little bit more calm. On the destruction on this particular uh, ribbon for his direct. We just cut up the sides a little bit more. So, uh, welcome back, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, it kind of kills, it lowers the, all the subdivisions when you're rotating in, in ZBrush. It just does it by itself, man. If you go higher in subdivisions, it starts adding that by itself. I don't think it's a special thing that I added into the settings. And if it is, you should definitely turn it on. <laughs> or maybe yours got turned off or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's. I think it's on by default, man. I've never really wanted to turn it off, but yeah. Just uh, have a look through the menus, I guess, or Google it up, maybe. I don't know, dude. I've, I've never turned it off, if it is a setting. Dos peruanos. Tenemos, ah, no, tenemos uh, amigos latinos aquí mucho. Bienvenidos, güeyes. Yo soy mexicano. Welcome, guys. We usually have a uh, quite a bit of Latin friends in here, so yeah, welcome, you guys. Here's where we have that arrow kind of cutting in, so perhaps we kind of start char this, charring this stuff away as well. Like maybe the arrow was on fire and kind of maybe burned this section a little bit more. 
I will kind of illustrate some of the burning with. Oh my god, why would you do that, Seabridge? Some kind of circle, circle pattern. Working too fast for Seabridge. It's freaking out. Make a little pattern kind of go up, maybe. And this will create a, a detailed gradient. From so far away, it'll create you know more of a gradient of dark to light because of all the little detail there. Not so much that we want to see the detail; it's more that we want to see the change, the gradient. So we're using detail to create that. Just like we did for the barnacles around the neck. Besker. How dare you, sir. Viva Portugal! <laughs> In Spanish, no less, by Pink Ninja. We got Portuguese, uh, a Portuguese girl in here. We got our Mexican friends, Peruans, Argentinians, Americans. No USA chant, please. Uh, got people all over the world, man. We have a lot of Russian friends that come by the live workshop. It's all good. A lot of love, guys. Viva Portugal! <laughs> You're a silly girl. Kaludi, you troll. I knew it. Second I said it. Alright, David. Good luck, dude. Powell is from Italy. Hey, there you go. Welcome, man. Uh, Lithuania. Are you really from there, Grubber? RSK from India. Awesome, dude. Welcome. I've never been to India. Uh, Dark Stack, Manny, can you tell us how hard it is to get into the video game industry? I mean, I did. I mean, uh, did we need to be a high skilled or are there any other aspects as well? Please answer in English and Spanish if possible. Okay, so getting into the games industry, it's, it's, well, it's easier to learn now, but there's also a larger group of people trying to get into it because of all those awesome commercials you see on TBOs, like, you know, make video games for a living, come to our school and you'll get a job. Those schools usually suck. But, I mean, you, you're going online and seeing people do it, like we do here, or on YouTube, or whatever it is, you can find a lot of places that you, where you can learn how to get started. Uh, when I got started, there was nowhere to learn this shit. Like, it was, like, you had to find, like, somebody that would, you can actually ask questions to from a forum, or, you know, uh, I learned from this guy from Cold Fusion. It was a uh, Half-Life modeling site at the time. And he was super nice, and I was able to kind of learn from him a little bit. The initial stuff that was just, you know, uh, a mace, you know, like opening up three Studio Max for the first time. I was like, like there's like a million buttons on this thing. It's, it felt like you jumping onto a plane. It's like here you go, man, fly the plane, and you're just like, ah, well, that's not gonna fucking happen. Yeah, so you just close it down and go back to your drawings, kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but getting into the games industry now, like getting to a smaller studio, it's a lot easier, and that's probably the best way you can go about doing things. Uh, is join a small studio and try and learn from the artists that are a lot better or are a lot more experienced than you are and then you know try and learn from those guys and keep doing a lot and a lot of the work and put as many hours as possible into the stuff that you can and then transfer to the big, bigger studios that you want to work at maybe it's just learning in steps dude my beer's almost done
<laughs> Bleeding Grease from America. Woo! Not if you're Aoi 2000. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, uh, that, that sucks. So, uh, Pink Ninja, Aoi is a player, he's one of the players that was that won the international uh, a month ago or whatever. And then, uh, like, right after he got kicked off the team, after winning the, the main tournament. So, yeah, it was kind of kind of a dick move. Pink Ninja, she's from the USA, uh, but uh, her family was is from Portugal. Who do I suggest you take the idea to? Oh, dude, I, I, I don't even want to tell you. Usually if you bring ideas to like artists from workshops, uh, I, don't th I, don't, I don't think most people have really taken ideas from, from people that I know of. Maybe they have, but I, I don't know even what to tell you, dude. I don't know who would take an idea. I wish I could tell you somebody that would, but I, I honestly don't know. <clears throat> Oh, Mr. Forgetful, what are you drinking, dude? Uh, my beer is gone, but cheers. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go get a new one in a bit. a lot of shit you guys don't know, but I can't talk about it. Sorry. I'll just nod and move on. This part's getting really thin. Work with me, Seabrush. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna hide the code for a second here. And possibly the skeleton as well. 
Oh yeah, that's better. That's a lot fr more freeing, holy shit. Whoops. I have to smooth this stuff out quite a bit actually. Oh no, Monster Cat! Okay, welcome back. Holy crap. Hey Yoshi, have a good night, dude. <laughs> Yoshi eats cookies. He, your name makes me laugh every time, dude. He's out, man. The Azores. Oh man, I'm so hungry. What time is it? Oh god. What, really? It's midnight? I was like, maybe I can order some food. Nope. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and cook something. God damn it. Alright, this door is looking a lot better than when we started, right? You guys remember how it looked before? It was... it was not very good.
Don't really care about football? <laughs> you can leave the chat now. <laughs> uh, boat mount. Hey man, good on you. Check that mount out. Dope ass Abaddon mount. We finished last week or two weeks ago. I don't even know. Probably two weeks ago. Maybe two? Two and a half? I don't know. Time is escapes me now. Called soccer here. Yeah, it's, it's silly. Are you guys still talking about EG and... <laughs> hey, did uh, Alliance play again on ESL? <laughs> it's because I haven't eaten. I'm lost. Do you guys know if Alliance played again? I want to catch their next game. Yeah, this door is gonna bake really, really well. Getting really nice and sharp. is here. Oh, it gets quite different over there. Okay, we can't have symmetry on. I'll have to do one, one side at a time. up a little bit more. Oh, you want to see the new Fnatic crud? Who do they got? I forget. I know they picked up a couple of new... They got... What, Mushi still in there? Or? I forget. Uh, Alliance's next game is at noon? Oh shit. That's pretty far away. Noon for you. Oh shit, where are you? Oh, in 11 hours? Okay, so yeah, it's about... Yeah. Almost that. Hey, holy shit. Uh, we're working on a clink set for Dota 2 right now. We're doing the do-rag. Whole bunch of detail in the do-rag. Hey, 
Mushi and black. Oh crap! They got black? That's kinda cool. I actually wanna see the Fnatic game now. Maybe I'll have my food ready by then. CPB4, what's up dude? Is that the movie? CPB4? And Ohio? Uh, I'm not familiar with him. Then he just speaks like a whole bunch of languages, man. Ask her. Even in her sleep. Oh, I keep reaching for my beer, but it's all gone. What do I got over here? Ah! Got some tea. Oh, that's good. Does Google have a new logo? Yeah, I heard that. It looks kind of silly. It's just a new font. It's boring. Alright, I think I want to kind of start adding some little bits to the sides of this dude. To the durag section. Rip it up. Add some rips. Oh man, I didn't get to watch all those little like mini stories for all the players. I, I caught a few of them and they were f they were done so well by the film group at, at Valve. Uh, but yeah, I didn't get to see all of them. I wish uh, I should actually just find them. Are they, are they on YouTube somewhere? Yet or no? I would love to see them all. So I can learn more about the, the rest of the players, you know? I don't know them all. I love that kind of stuff. They should play those on all the tournaments, not just at TI. Valve should just give them to all the other tournaments so they can play them. People can get to know the, the, the players a lot more. It would help out so much. Uh, he was in Team Orange, Malaysia, Ehome, then Team Malaysia again, and then was rebranded before TI5 as Fnatic. Oh wow! All right, that's those are good teams. Hey Tenshi, uh, I do like to make sets for Dota 2. They're on the Dota channel? Oh, oh, okay. Like saved as highlights or something? On the Twitch channel you're talking about? Alright. Well, 
40 years. Woo. Oh, thank you, Ten Tenashi. Sorry, I messed up your name earlier. Let's see, let's uh, start polishing out the side of the do-rag. This pirate bandana. And bandana's so cool, guys. Don't we all love bandanas in here? Shut up, Manny. Time to brainwash you all. Start wearing bandanas. But then I. <laughs> Alright, guys, man. Gasaman, sorry. Uh, I'm just screwing everybody's name tonight, don't worry about it. Uh, we are working on a set for Dota 2. This character is called Clinks, and we're making him into a pirate. I'll show you the default model that is in game. So when you play the game, this is what you see by default. This guy. And we're turning him into a pirate. So we're sculpting all this, uh, the super hyper detail so that we can bake it onto our in-game textures. <laughs> Maybe a little bit pixel face. Uh, oh, they're on their YouTube channel for uh, uh, Dota. Okay, I'll check that out, man. Thank you. McDonald's isn't that bad. Oh, dude, like I could go to McDonald's now, and but that's not gonna happen. I'll, I'll, I'll cook something here. I don't care what it is. I'm not eating McDonald's. That's only for like when you're ultra, ultra, ultra crazy, set, desperate. And I don't think I'm in that boat right now. Like when you're like really really drunk and you're just like starving, you know, like two, three in the morning. And you're like, dude, we should have some McDonald's right now. And you're like, yes. And then in the morning you're like, I should not have had McDonald's. That was disgusting. But that's the only time really that you should really <laughs> give in to my crappies. McDonald's and Taco Bell smell the worst. Taco Bell wins it. They're the worst piece of crap ever. It's followed really closely by Panda Express. I will never eat anything from either one of those places again, ever. Shit, man. Uh, Panda Express put uh, Pink Ninja in the hospital one time. That tells you enough.
what is the biggest project that I've ever worked on? Uh, the biggest project, because of terms of how many people we uh, actually threw onto the team, was uh, Forced Unleashed 1. It was Forced Towers. KFC, yeah, I don't need KFC, but I need KFC because it's, I mean, it's, it's not that bad, but uh, they have some of the worst treatment for their chickens. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I, I cut those guys out completely. No KFC for me. You don't like sleeping pixel face? <laughs> Subway, I, I like Subway actually, Subway's pretty good. But I've had the choice between Subway and... Uh, oh god, what's the other one? The one that actually put the little, the, your sub in the little belt. Oh my god. It's just that they closed the one that was nearby, so I, don't, I haven't gone to it in forever. Here, somebody help me out. Have I had a Chick-fil-A from McDonald's? Dude, I'm not eating anything from the sea it, that they put in McDonald's. Quiznos, thank you. Yes, Quiznos. I, I, I fucking I love Quiznos, man. But they closed the one nearby, so I, I haven't had Quiznos in forever. Quiznos is amazing, and I like Subway too. But Quiznos is just you know it's a little bit up there. You know that episode where the Simpsons find that three-eyed fish because it was in Springfield, close to the nuclear plant. That's how I envision anything f from from the sea being at McDonald's. Uh, I'm no, I'm not. No, that's not happening. I'm not putting that in my mouth. You guys don't have Quiznos in Sweden? Oh shit, dude! But dude, in Sweden, I gotta tell you this. Uh, I I had the best soup I've ever had in my life in Sweden. We went to this crazy restaurant. I forget the name of it. This was a long time ago. This is like 2004 or something. Uh, we went to a restaurant that was up in like like a revolving restaurant, I think it was, or up in a tower or something like that. Kind of like the Seattle, the Seattle Tower, but not as crazy. Uh, anyways, uh, they gave us this lobster bisque soup there, that had the lobster bits kind of like cut out for you, and they they wrapped them up in this like seaweed, and they tried to run with a little like string that dissolved, and they put it into the soup. And dude, that that soup was just. You guys are making me freaking hungry. God damn it! I'm not talking about food anymore. I don't even have anything to like munch on. I have my freaking tea. God damn it! Twelve thirty. All right, it's not too late. We can we can finish up this durag no problem. Before I I kill somebody out of hunger. We can talk about shitty food. That doesn't make me hungry. <laughs> we, can, we can talk about crappies and KFC and shitty ass Taco Bell. God, that soup was so good though in, in Sweden. God damn it. Jared is a raper. <laughs> Jesus. Let's not talk about Jared either. Suck, foop. <laughs> I see what you're doing. You heard Quiznos went bankrupt? No. They, is that why they closed down a whole bunch of locations? Dude, Quiznos is so good. You like the little jalapenos? The jalapenos? Yeah, man. They have amazing bread, too. Lebanese food, anybody? No, no onions, man. Come on, you need onions. See, cooking shit stuff or cooking, <laughs> cooking, cooking your stuff uh, with onions is great. You know, you get a little bit of that flavor. But actually eating the onions, nah, man, that's that's too much. It kills everything else on, on whatever you're cooking or whatever you're eating. Like if you're having steak or what, or in your burger, it just overpowers everything. You you want to cook it with onions, but don't actually eat the freaking onion. I don't. That's that's just me. I don't know. And everyone ever eaten Scottish food? 
Uh, no. I don't even know what that would look like. What What is it, crud? <laughs> oh shit, whale room. Jared starting off by trying to get in smaller pants. <laughs> I mean, you can stop the joke right there. I don't even have to read the rest of the joke. It just writes itself, man. That's... <laughs> So if you guys don't know what we're laughing at is uh, Jared was, I, I guess, arrested or they found child pornography on his computers at home or something like that. So yeah, that's where that's where that was going. Haggis? Was oh, Haggis that Scottish food? Yeah, I guess so, huh? Kidney pie and Haggis. Yeah, that doesn't sound like the stuff I would eat, man. Make a huge cut over here, just because we can. Uh, maybe we open up a little bit more. Make sure it's visible. Make sure that it, it, it actually does something in our off map. I want to see that. I think I want to push it a bit more. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. We're still here, you bastard. I guess. Octopus soup? That's a disgusting, Pink Ninja. Ugh. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I got it, Will. What a dark, dark joke. <laughs> Shawarma. Shawarmas are great. I like shawarmas. I get them kind of plain though. I'm that guy. Not with everything though, but yeah, with shawarmas I don't like the the crazy sauces that you guys put all over that stuff or the plants. Plants didn't have a mother so I can't eat them. I know, sorry. Sorry vegetarians. Uh, I had a buddy that <laughs> he had a, a girlfriend that was vegetarian. <laughs> and we go out to dinner. And he's like, "I'm gonna order two steaks so I can I, so I cancel you out." And we're just like, <laughs> "Dude, <laughs> that's that's kind of mean." I mean, I'll eat I'll eat steak and whatever, but I mean, I'm not gonna <laughs> try and cancel out a vegetarian or say that at least. <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. I wish I could be vegetarian, but I... I, I can't.
Carlic sauce. Oh man, you 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 already won Pink Ninja's heart there. For every cow you don't eat, I'm gonna eat two of them. That's like the biggest middle finger ever. <laughs> Cancel you out. <laughs> That's horrible. Alright, alright, this is looking pretty smooth, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, let's worry about this guy here really quickly. Oh, you guys make fun of vegetarians. You guys like how I, I pulled myself away from that? Yeah. All right, Pink Ninja, have a good sleep. Enjoy your rest. I am gonna go cook something as soon as we finish this do rag. It still has a little bit to go though. We gotta rip it up maybe a little bit in the back. And do a little bit of the ink lines to the inside. And I guess, oh, we still gotta tether up the, the other one on the edges a little bit. And a little bit more at the bottom so we have more of a gradient. It's a little bit too smooth right now. Okay, start canceling some of these guys out a little bit. We should save. We should save our work. Whoa, B. Alright, Camu, have a good one, dude. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> That'd be a lot of food, dude. I don't think you can pull that one off. There's a lot of veggies out there. Blame on us. <laughs> I love those icons, dude. But some Italian food. Italian food is really good. I like Italian food. Uh, Kaluti, you ended up going. You're gonna go with the Intuos Pro Medium. Uh, wireless tablets, uh, dude. Anything wireless, I'm, I'm not down on, or uh, I'm down on, or like, yeah, I'm, I, I don't, I do not enjoy them. Uh, I used to have a wireless keyboard, and that shit would die out every time I was playing like some game and it's the biggest pain in the ass I have to recharge and, or you know find the batteries and oh we're out of batteries I have to buy a whole pack of that shit like just you know forget wireless man just the wire is goes to the back of the PC you don't have to worry about it all my shit has wires on it I'm, I'm done with wireless shit Oh, dude, I put uh, bacon bits in my chicken alfredo.
I mean, but even if you get the wireless, I, I think the wire, uh, the pro one has what has got the wireless and anything else. I haven't looked at them in a while, so if it's wireless is costing you more money, I'd say don't just get the wire one. But I think it's just part of the whole, you know, that version that you're getting, and it does come with a wire, so you don't have to be wireless, right? You can still you get the wire that you can plug in anyway, so you might be alright. Hey, dispatch, what's up, man? Welcome. Meet on meet, GG. Can't lose, man. Bacon bits, so good. The real bacon bits. Though I had the like the fake bacon bits because they they sent me the wrong ones or whatever one time. And I mean they weren't horrible. I mean it, it was they're still pretty alright. I wouldn't choose them over the real bacon bits, but I was like, hey, you know, it's it'll do for now, I guess. Poor man's bacon bits. Alright, let's work on the back here, I guess. We haven't really touched this section. Oh my god, too close. Zoom out, man. There we go. Center ourselves here. See where we want our flat sections to go. Alright, it's looking pretty good, pretty good. It does come with both options, Kaluri? Yeah, yeah, okay, I thought so. If it's just an option, then whatever. And as long as it's not like one of the key features that's bringing up the price, then you'll be alright. Like, hey, here's a feature, buy batteries every couple of months, or every month, depending on how much you game. Be like, why the fuck, why? Why it never gets in the way? I didn't have a mouse. And now they have like uh, headphones, well I mean not headphones, but they have like the earbuds that are wireless now, right, that are coming out. I'm just like, uh, what kind of battery is that going to have on there? And how many earbuds are you going to actually lose? Like, you actually need the wires on the earbuds, come on. Or they should pack like maybe like five or six earbuds when you buy a wireless earbuds. Because you know you're going to lose that shit. I mean, come on. Shit's gonna, like, that's gonna, it's gonna fall in the toilet, or... It's, yeah. And the plane, you know, it's, so, yeah. Such a bad idea. And I mentioned that because, listen to this story. Uh... I had uh, these new head, uh, earbuds and I was trying to uh, kind of fix the little earbud because you know they come with different sizes right like, like large, medium and the really small so I was trying them out and putting them in or whatever I, I put the, like, the new ones in and it, for some reason this thing just kept coming out of it and I was in the airplane in like I was in the, in the washroom in the airplane and that little piece of the earbud just went right into the toilet so I was like well that's gone I'm not there's no way I'm fishing that out I'm putting it in my ear it's gone. It was a write-off. But see, those things came with extras, because, you know, that you, you lose those things. So yeah, wireless headphones, or earbuds. Prepare yourself to lose that shit.
I'm Batman. <laughs> Break him into a spin and touch small. I don't get the touch thing. I don't know, why, why do you need touch on a tablet? You're holding a pen already. Hey, Muggy8. Well, all this is gonna be baked onto our low poly. So this is not actually for the game. This is to to make our normal map and our textures and all that stuff look like is this high polygon. So that's that's what we're doing right now. It's not so it's not to actually run it real time. That would be crazy. Computers are not ready for this resolution. With as many polygons. Boot that out. So many folds on this thing. We're getting there though. Whoa, uh, yeah, let's make that flatter. Get more flat spaces for the sections to actually pick up some of the lighting from the game. Uh, it will read a lot better, especially because the uh, clinks is so little, so tiny on screen. It's one of the smaller little dudes in the dotes. Multiverse. So many different Dota games going on at once. Or something, something dark side. Put this out a little bit more. It's a little crappy. Uh, oh god, we haven't touched this side. Okay. Fix you up! Uh, I think I'm gonna flatten this guy right here and push that across a little bit. Whoops. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, it's looking pretty sharp. Oh my god, I missed a whole bunch of stuff on the chat. What's going on? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me roll up. Uh, let's see, Lab Workshop, if I, oh, you guys are typing. If I was thinking about getting a tablet purely for carrying in my, uh, carrying all my artwork with me and starting to draw, etc. That way, instead of carrying all the various utensils, books, etc. around that, would you, thoughts, would you like tablets, etc. You're talking about the new Wacom tablet that is the personal one? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you, if you have, like, a commute to work or something like that, and you're on the train or the bus or whatever it is and you, you you're always catching or whatever those things are pretty awesome for that stuff I never find myself that I, I actually do that so I it, it'd be kind of useless for me 
uh, whenever I'm working, I'm on my workstation here and have everything right here. But yeah, if I'm out, I'm, I'm never really working. Sometimes I would take my laptop to like some cons, if I'm just sitting there like helping Pink Ninja or uh, just uh, uh, some cons selling some artwork or whatever. Um, I would kind of like do some of the UV work because my computer, my laptop is obviously a lot crappier than my PC setup. And yeah, I would do like a little bit of work that way, but never really like drawing or sketching uh, on, on a tablet. It really goes, you know, to if, if you're into doing that kind of stuff, then yeah, that's great. And if you're actually traveling a lot, you know, make it, make it worth your while. Uh, but yeah, those things are pretty cool, man. Spinal wolf pack, <laughs> not quite, man, not quite. Time for class. All right, Kaludi, have a good one, dude. Enjoy school, Saka. I'm just teasing. I don't miss school. Let's do this. Uh, this knot over here. Oh, it needs another subdivision. Yeah, there we go. Nice little immune occlusion in there. Put this guy up. Flatten this out. Shape it around. Nice and easy, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of red on my chat. What's that? Holy shit. You're still unsure career-wise what you want to do? So you hope that every couple of years to do something new. However, you were watching one of these face-off seasons and you had a group of students from some effects school and using tablets to create their creature concepts right in front of them on the tablet. I thought that was awesome. I like to practice and learn and to be able to do that kind of 3D work, etc. Uh, yeah, I mean, those, those competitions are kind of cool or whatever, you know, but you end up kind of like just creating a kind of like a half-assed design of something unless they really thought ahead of the design so that it actually looks good on TV or whatever. So I don't know how real that stuff is, but yeah, like coming up with concept stuff on the fly is, is not really a smart thing to do. Um, not for like commercial like st studio work, you know what I mean? But I mean having it on the fly where you're using it for practice, you know, as much as you can everywhere, that, then yeah, absolutely, that's great for that stuff. The more you can ar do artwork, if you're not at home a lot, uh, the better. You want to be practicing as much as possible. Like insane amount of hours to get really, really good. It takes that amount of dedication, man. So yeah, I'm sure it would be great for that. What do we have left to do? Uh, ride or die, Mike. Uh, welcome to the stream, thank you for the follow. Uh, we still need to tether up a little bit of the, the, the Durag trails here. This guy needs a lot more uh, detail towards the bottom, so we create a little bit of a gradient. Yeah, we gotta rip up the sides a little bit there. Maybe a little bit of the sides of the other guy. And then I think the Durag's gonna be pretty close to done. Uh, maybe add a little bit of dirt here and there to the Durag as well. Maybe a little closer to where his face starts. We'll add a little bit of uh, dirtiness there, maybe some holes. And then the, that head item should be done. Well, I get the durag at least. We still have to do the dagger, but we'll do that tomorrow. We have it up here somewhere. Uh, well, yeah, it's up there. It's up here in the scene, I just have it hidden. And then we'll, we'll place it actually on the mouth after that. 
And we'll do the bake actually horizontal so that it has the right lighting and all that, just in case. Workshop. Yeah, I write and draw, starting to learn to towards wanting to make a graphic novel. Oh, cool. Then to write a write a full book. I much rather see my world, dude. Uh, that's that is so cool. I've always wanted to do a graphic novel, but I've never found the time. I always have like a million projects, and I can actually dedicate myself to uh, to the graphic novel I wanted to do. Well, that's really cool, man. That's yeah. The tablet would be great for that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's dirty this do rag up a little bit. This face is all gonna be kind of messed up, so we don't want the do rag to be like perfect either, right? So let's add a little, little bits of junk. Am um, I gonna show the character in game tonight? Wow, oh, dude, no, we uh, we don't have it skinned to a skeleton yet, to like the the, the actual skeleton that m you know makes the character move with the animations in the game. So we can't actually test this in game yet, uh, but soon, uh, Abyss will probably skin it pretty soon since we're getting close to uh, getting the rest of these items finished in ZBrush, so that way we can bake them and then start the textures. Too many particles on the color part. Okay, so right now it looks super crazy busy on the color section, uh, but let me show you. Uh, once we actually bake this out, uh, oh crap! Once we bake this stuff out, what the hell? Where, where are you? Um, we're gonna get more of uh, an outline for that stuff, and we'll paint out uh, some of the crazy detail on there. But from a distance, it's just creating more of a gradient map for us. So see if you see it with maybe one of these other materials. You'll see it'll be more of a, like a way for us to add a little bit of a different color with the barnacles, and then fade it out towards the the flat leather, so that it kind of it creates a nice change, and, uh, a, a color gradient more than a more than anything. It's not gonna be as crazy busy as uh, this really looks, not this much. Um, so it'll be okay. And if it gets too busy, we can always uh, paint over a little bit in Photoshop and you know dye it down a, t a tiny bit. Uh, so we'll have that control at that point, but I wanted to make sure that we had all that detail built in there in case we do want all of it, and we'll be okay. 
see like some materials make it look like you know a lot of detail is actually lost it really depends the way you're looking at it with what materials but with our image occlusion and our, our our control in Photoshop with the texture will make it work just fine Uh, we're, uh, this is for Dota 2, if that's what people were talking about. Hey Grubber, uh, we've been detailing the, the do-rag all over the place. All the holes in the back, that will be off the maps. Uh, we still need to add some more detail back here, I guess. Maybe more cuts we we're talking about as well. More off of work. Cut some of these pieces more. Come back, Monster Cat, and now we're saving. Okay. What's up, Masterpiece? Hey, just thank you. Thug life set, Tupac. One love, baby. Love me some Tupac. He's my favorite.
Whoops. Oh, thank you, Jess. Yeah, we've been working really pretty fast with this guy. We'll get the bakes done. Uh, well, actually, we can get the bakes started pretty soon, I think. I think enemy is uh, was finishing some some stuff on his end, and then I can start getting some of these pieces to start start baking. While we work on uh, the other pieces here, or we shift over to our gyrocopter set. Or over to our Abaddon Hero Companion Bundle. Either or. Or maybe both. Just jump around both of them, maybe. It's all gonna be alpha maps. Cut the suckers up. Some raggedy edges here and there. Make him look a lot more decrepit. I am in California. I was born and raised in Mexico though. And I also lived in Canada for 15 years. So I'm all over the place. Not from anywhere. <laughs> How do you create see-through holes in ZBrush, or do you just push it? I just push it. I don't bother like deleting the mesh, even though you you know we could go in here and you know delete that mesh and do all, you know that mask it and then delete visible and all that stuff. But um, I just push it out of the way and then we bake it out and then in Photoshop I gotta recreate that alpha map anyway. So there's no point in me doing it twice. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean this is not for like a, a 3D print or anything. This is not to do a, like a crazy good render presentation in ZBrush. So we don't actually need to delete the holes in ZBrush. I just push them out of the way, and then we get a nice, a really nice bake because we get a little bit of that depth, you know, for each one of those uh, those holes. So that fabric, you know, has an inside, and we we bake that into our normal map, and it looks great. And then I do the alpha, the actual cutout of the alpha into the Photoshop file, and it works out really well that way. Alchemy, welcome. How are you, girl? So that's looking good. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, look at you using your reverb emotes. <laughs> uh, how you doing? Did you play some Dota tonight yet? I, I have the shakes, man. I have the shakes. I, I need some Dota. I need some dotes. I need me some dying wins. I don't look that old. <laughs> well, thank you, Jess. I do look uh, quite a bit younger. Greetings for Germany. Oh man, what's up? How you doing? Greetings from California.
Hey, Kaluti. <laughs> Welcome back, man. I know, right? I use that quite a bit. I'm laying in bed. Let's see what's on Twitch right now. I'm gonna stream the game tonight, bro. You know what? I, I, I haven't streamed games in a while. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if we'll stream the game. We're usually way too busy to do game streams. We got so much work to do. Crazy kids. You crazy kids and your music. You haven't been able to play since the update? You nearly went over to your uh, parents' internet cap for the mo oh, oh shit. You guys have a cap? That's... Kinda super lame. Oh man, I would, I would die. That sounds crazy. Oh man, whose idea was it to put barnacles on this thing? Fudge. I have to go through all this thing and clean it up on the edges and stuff. Oh my god. Oh my science. Two hundred and fifty gigabyte cap. My goodness. Hey, Narco. What's up? Technically, have an internet cap with Comcast, but it's been suspended definitely for like four or five years or more. I think if they see you like downloading and like hosting servers and things like that, then they're like, okay, if you, you know, if you go like really keep doing this shit. We're gonna slow down your speed like quite a bit. And then you knock that shit off, right? What I hear. It's like I don't know. I don't I actually buy all my stuff.
Put a couple of strays up here. So you say you moved from from Australia to New Zealand. Hmm. Crappy internet. Welcome to Germany. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty bad there too, man. Uh, Abyss FX is actually in Germany, and yeah, he has just the loveliest things to, things to say about that place. Actually, I've been in Germany before, and their McDonald's is, tastes really different than the McDonald's in America. Not worse, it's just different. Um, it, was, it was pretty interesting. I mean, McDonald's is shit regardless, right? But what I'm saying is, it wasn't like a crappy version of the crappy US McDonald's. It was just different. Pretty sure McDonald's is crap anywhere. And everywhere. Oh, I'm sure it totally is, but people still do it. Especially like in apartment buildings, where they have like the T1 set up and everything. They just abuse the shit out of that. Hey, last. How you doing, Mr. Rogue standing? <laughs> Put a huge barnacle over here. Whoops. Oh god, I'm so hungry. Gotta finish the durag though. Have to finish. I don't wanna touch it tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll move on to the gloves and hopefully something else. Hopefully we can do more than the gloves. Slip to Brooklyn, man. Let's go. Whoops. Barnacles, barnacles, barnacles. I see them everywhere.
Oh man, in and out is really good. Why are you guys still talking about food? Oh my god. I'm so hungry. Hey Volt, welcome. Don't talk about food. <laughs> welcome to Live Workshop. What was the name of that song? Oh man, it's, I think it's part of our remix, so I can't even find out what the actual the separate songs are for you, man. Yeah, these are running like one hour long remixes and compilations. Your lights went down? Like your power? Uh, let's see, we probably want to eat up into the durag as well. Let's cut this guy up. I wish you guys could see my dog right now. He's on his chair, on his back, with his paws up, and he's biting on his nails. <laughs> he's so freaking cute. He likes chewing on his nails. He thinks he's people. Song's a little crazy. Tense. Oh, it's ridiculous. Get a little Star Wars bandana around his neck and everything. Which she's scratching right now. I'm gonna hide this freaking skeleton. Cut this out. Yeah, why not? Just go for it. Let's do some light scratches, I guess.
Oh god, what are you guys saying? Show you with a camera? No, it's a, it's got like the... You guys weren't able to see it very well. Oh, that was able to show you with the cam. It's not that kind of... Oh, dear god. <laughs> Alright, last. We'll see you in a bit. If we're still here. <laughs> Someone else will take your place. <laughs> Lol. Whoops. Back faces. Cut this shit out. Peace. How long does the sculpting part take me? Uh, the low poly is usually really, really fast for me. 
So, um, low poly usually like a day or two. Uh, the high polygon, it really depends on how much crazy detail we start putting into each piece or how many pieces there are or if it's like a huge piece, like a full character that will take a very very long time like a like a mount or a, a, ba a, a bear for the lone druid things like that, you know? Uh, those things take a very very long time This guy, we've only been working on this guy uh, This is our fifth day working on him Oh hey Elaine, what's up? How you feeling? Are you healthy? Are we good? How are we doing on time? 1.36. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Not even close? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked then. Poor Elaine. That's looking okay, I guess. Oh god, what are you linking, Elaine? What the hell? What the hell is this? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, is that MechWire? I was like, I don't recognize any of this stuff. I didn't even know you played MechWire. I did well rum and then somebody posted an image somewhere of like the arc when like hidden in one of the updates on the frost weavers update in the background somewhere I didn't see it but I heard heard about that image I was looking I tried to look at my phone but I couldn't make her out And I was like, ah, whatever, I'll see you later. No doubt. Because this guy needs a little bit of a... Some wear and tear and some damage. Maybe a barnacle in here somewhere. Hitting. Waiting. For his time. That'll do. 
The actual textures for the model. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that as well, MV. Uh, I'm talking about both. Here's the image. Oh, here's the image. Let's see. Is that... I have no idea what I'm looking at. Is that her shoulder? Is that her head? What the hell am I looking at? Her weapon? I... I mean, I don't know the word from Dota 1, so I guess it's kind of lost on me. <laughs> well, room. Those stupid frogs. Ah, this durex is taking a freaking. I didn't think I was gonna put barnacles on it, now it's taking us like an extra three hours. Why don't I put my stuff on Art Station? Eh. <laughs> I probably will eventually. I just haven't really had the. I guess the need for it. I guess the same reason why I don't update my website, my personal like art website. Too busy, man. Too mi too busy making art to update uh, portfolio sites and things like that. I don't even have all my Star Wars stuff up on my website. It's like it's so old the stuff I have up. One day I'll update it. Just like every other artist out there. They never have the newer stuff up. It takes them ages. It takes us ages. Aren't those particles way too small? Well, see, I don't want like I, I'm not really making them so you can see their like perfect shape or whatever. They're gonna create nice little details, um, noise on the texture. Some of them, some of the larger clumps, you'll see, and more than anything, it's gonna have these little dots of color that I'll be able to use as a variation from just having a red do rag. You know, I'll have a little bit of a greens in there, then then we'll mix into the greens from the coat and the barnacles on the coat, and kind of you know bring a little bit more uh, color into the very desaturated browns and leathers that we're gonna have on the rest of the model so yeah it's just a nice little detail that will show up on not only uh, on the, like i said from far away to create those little bit of a noise uh but also from up close on the avatar and also for whatever we end up making for the loading screen or poster we still have to do the wheel we still need to do the hook and his glove, and we still have to do his anchor bow. He's missing a lot of sections right now. Oh, and there's the arrows on the back. All right. So yeah, still, still a bit of ways to go. They should make a pretty decent contrast on the front. Little noise here and there. Splash of color. Little barnacles, little dots. Should work out okay. Well, room has been timed. 
Manny, scroll down to where it says Avalanche. You can see the arc. All right, let's take a look. Uh, Avalanche. Oh, is that her hand right there? Is that like her hand and then the... I guess her shoulder or something? I mean, I always see as a hand and I don't know her design, so yeah, maybe that's the race of shoulder. Or part of a shoulder and then maybe he's got like a another gem that you were showing us earlier, like she's got a gem and then some spikies or something. That's funny that they take the time into like hiding all this shit into these renders. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my science. I think the Dura came out pretty alright. Got some nice wrinkles in there, we're able to really like brush those in and make dark into our texture. And we'll make it a lot lighter and desaturated to the top part of the dome. Get a little more saturated and darker towards the sides here. And then we'll be able to splash some yellows and some greens into some of the barnacles and uh, kind of make it a little bit more unique a durag instead of just just a red durag, right? And we'll also have some alphas and some tears into the sides. And then we'll follow along all those same things into the ribbons of the durag that then get pinned down by these arrows onto the wheel. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that at this point. I don't think we need to go any farther on it. Should be okay. So tomorrow we are going to jump onto the gloves. We'll finish those guys off. They're really freaking early. We'll do the hook hand as well. And then we will take a look at the bow, which is the anchor, or uh, it's actually missing a piece here, where is it? Oh crap, the dagger. Okay, so maybe we'll jump onto the dagger tomorrow and see if we can get to the wheel, and then we'll leave the anchor. Maybe enemy wants to jump on the anchor. We'll let him do the anchor, or the dagger, or the wheel. I don't know what he wants to do. Uh, he was interested in doing one of these pieces, so I'll talk to them, see what's up. If not, we'll just do them all ourselves, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh shit, actually we need to do the hair too, I forgot about the, the braids. So tomorrow we'll do the braids for sure, and maybe the dagger. And we'll still have the wheel and the bow to finish out. And then after all that's done, we'll, we'll, the enemy will be doing the baking, and then they'll he hand those files over to me, and then I'll start doing the textures for it. And that should be great! And we'll stop the stream there for tonight, guys. So uh, we'll say thank you for all the follows. Really appreciate appreciate them, guys. Uh, the subscriptions we got today, super, super awesome on your part. And make sure you guys uh, join our Steam group below so you can get a notification when we go live tomorrow. And also join our Facebook. Come here, Perf. Come on up. Come say hi to the stream. Oh my goodness, headbutt. Oh my goodness, headbutt. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah, he's a crazy dog. He's a crazy dog. Oh, look at his little Star Wars. Oh, God. Look at his little Star Wars durag. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Why are you so happy, crazy? Why are you crazy, boy? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, look at this tail go crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. So make sure you guys throw us, ah, throw us a follow as well. This guy's, this guy's nuts. What do you want? <laughs> he's so happy I'm paying attention to him. Oh, oh, oh. oh what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. Hey, look, Elaine's saying hi to you. Remember Elaine? You're crawling all over her face? Yeah. You're being a jerk. Oh, crazy boy. Crazy boy. Okay, okay. Let's go make some food, buddy. Let's go, let's go. All right, guys. Throw us a follow. Uh, check out uh, past broadcasts over at labworkshop.com, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us, throwing ideas, and just hanging out with us, guys. Really appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. See you later, Lynn. Feel better. <laughs> <laughs>